Hello, namaste. It's lovely to connect with you today. My name is Leanne Peters. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to share some guidance for Monday the 11th of June and Tuesday the 12th of June. So extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family and all of those of you who do support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support and helping me be able to bring these resources out to you and to other people. I really appreciate it. Um, Right now I'm coming to you live from Tasmania, Australia. It is Monday the 11th of June at exactly 12.05pm. So the middle of the day here. I've um, recently just finished the current energy report for today um, and I'm now ready to share some guidance. Hi Deb, lovely to see you. The cat's here, purring again here, (laughs) our regular in the videos. Um, So if you're new to watching, welcome. What I'm going to be doing is using my Speed of Light Oracle cards. I'm going to be looking for the best card for Monday, the best card for Tuesday, and then the best card for the theme for Monday and Tuesday. I'm not doing personal requests for guidance here today. This is general guidance for everyone. So I trust that you've been led here for a reason. I trust something shared is supportive um, and helpful for you at this time. And remember, just um, take on board what resonates, what feels right for you, what makes sense to you, what is relevant for you in your life at this time, and let the rest go. You won't have to try and force things to fit into your life. It should quite easily make sense if it needs to make sense for you. And you can trust what makes sense for you. So um, sometimes these connections can be quite an energetic experience. So you might feel waves of emotion. You might have um, stuff that comes to the surface for you that requires healing or releasing. That's really normal. So just uh, let yourself feel your way through our time together and we'll see what comes up. So let's get started. How are you all doing? Hi, Billy from Illinois and Karen says I wasn't notified. Well, you did well, Karen, to come over um, and I guess you were shifting through your news feed and saw that I was live, so that's a bonus. But yes, a lot of people aren't notified these days, even if they turn it on. It just happens. Hi, Erin and Suzanne and Linda's here from California. Jessica and Fiona, good morning to you. Actually, Fiona, in, after I finish this video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on a bit of a tutorial tip on face painting. So I'll be doing that over in our Pillar of Light family. I've got my face paints ready to go and my paintbrush. (laughs) So we'll see what we can create. So I will be doing that soon. The cat is cracking me up because, look, she's falling asleep here on my lap, all curled up, purring, which is very cute. Aren't they special, our animals? I find it extra special with this cat because she adopted us. Um, so her owner moved away and took her with her, but the cat, this cat just kept coming back and basically hung around with us for six or 12 months before we kind of claimed her, I guess, or she claimed us. I think it's really special when they choose their owner, isn't it? So I don't ever think that um, she's here to stay forever because I know that she'll move on when she wants to move on. But she's been hanging around for about six years now. So she likes it here. Have you got a cat that hangs around? Joseph is allergic to cats. So do you have any other pets, Joseph? Or are you um, petless (laughs) at this time? Hi, Nortija from Mexico, Nelly. Um, Okay, let's find the best card for Monday, the 11th of June. If it's not Monday for you yet, you can think of this as guidance in advance. I think the worst thing to be allergic to has to be what I'm allergic to, which is honey. Have you ever heard of anyone being allergic to honey? And honey is such a beautiful, yummy thing, and um, my body just totally overreacts to it. So what's your crazy allergy? Does anyone have an allergy that's crazier than honey? I'd really like to know. (laughs) I guess if it's something like air. 
is something that we need to survive, then that's a bit tricky, isn't it? But um, honey's definitely a doozy. So the best card for Monday is this right here. Oh, the tree maiden, card 42. She says her keywords are endings, surrender, growth, and illumination. She brings a potency through for Monday, a potency and intensity, a sense where things may be blown out of proportion or things may seem bigger or louder or more dramatic than they probably really are. There's a reason why they're louder though. It's to get our attention. Often things happen in our life that trigger a reaction or trigger something in us And we have a choice with that trigger to look at this trigger more deeply or to push it aside and just keep going. And then we reach another point on our path where we're triggered again. And again, we have a choice. Do we look deeper at this trigger now or do we push it aside? And then we keep going and it comes up again and again and again until we're ready to look at this deeper. Now, each time this trigger is re-triggered, it triggers louder and louder and louder trying to get our attention more strongly or more predominantly each time so on Monday there's a sense of something being triggered through what's loud right now through the potent intense stuff that might be seen as being blown out of proportion if we're ready to see it in that light so what is being triggered and how can we let it go or how can we let the pain of what's been triggered go so that we can take the lesson or the understanding, the wisdom in that situation and help it enrich who we are so we can move forward in a more expanded position or a more expanded way. <coughs> Excuse me. So are we willing now to see what the trigger is, what the issue is, so that we can deal with it? Or are we just going to push it aside again? Because it will just come up again later. So if we're not quite ready and that's what we just automatically do, then that's what we do. It will come up again later when we're ready to deal with it. But if we can, if we have the courage to, let's look at what's been stirred up now and look at what needs to be surrendered in our life or within our being. It's not always just about, in fact, most of the time it's usually about what is going on within us rather than what's playing out in our life. What's playing out in our life is just a reflection or a um, ripple of what's going on inside. So usually whatever it is on the external is reflecting or um, there's another word, um, <laughs> which I'm, I'm not quite sure what it is right now, but um, expressing or, or um, radiating out from the inside. So let's be willing to let go. How can we let go though first if we're not seeing what this trigger is or what's been blown out of proportion? So how I might deal with this, if something's really intense for me and I'm trying to work out what the issue is, what's been triggered, what do I need to surrender or release right now, I will actually grab my journal and write down everything that I'm noticing right now. Everything good and everything not so good. So if I'm noticing that this person's really pissing me off (laughs) I will write that down if I'm noticing that um, I'm really grateful for this right now or I'm in a really good space in my relationship right now I'll write this down everything that I'm noticing I will write down and then when I finish writing down everything I will sort of step back as the observer and reread back through and look for the common thread there's always a common thread with things that we're going through even if they seem to be unrelated so that issue with that person that issue in that situation that feeling of inadequacy that we may have right now over here will most likely all be connected to something that's the issue or something that's um, the the cause of what's been triggered for us hi Megs So let's be careful that we're not honing in on that problem and that problem and that problem and let's look at it all and look at the common thread between all of these problems. That will help us see what the problem is, the real problem underneath. 
Because until we get to the real problem or the real issue, we're just going to kind of push it aside and then it's just going to come up again later. So Monday, very much a potency, a strong energy around, lots of surrendering and endings and letting go feels important as we recognize the problem. Um, And there's growth promise from this. So as intense as this time is, this is a time of growth. It's a time of healing. It's a time of transformation that we're going through, which is not always easy. In fact, it's rarely easy, but it's not doesn't always have to be hard because that's another perspective thing, isn't it? So it doesn't always have to be hard. It um, doesn't it's not always necessarily easy because we face parts of ourselves that we may not want to admit are a bit of a problem and so that we can move forward or improve who we are from our perspective so strong energy around for monday i trust that makes sense for you that's the tree maiden does that resonate with you if it's not your monday yet it may not make a lot of sense but it might be something that's been brewing it's not something that suddenly happens usually that energy so you may have felt it brewing recently So let's now look for the best card for Tuesday, the 12th of June. Okay, Tuesday the 12th. And we'll go with this card for Tuesday here. Oh, I love this. This is Chakra Activate. I just get so excited when this card comes up. It's card 7. It says upgrade, new level, initiation and celebrate. That word initiation is really interesting because I've been talking about that this morning in the report but from a different angle, from this dragon energy that's around that I feel at this time is like a gatekeeper for us, observing how we react and respond and deal with certain things that we're going through right now. And then the dragon, once it feels that we've learned the lessons, steps aside from the gateway the doorway that it's kind of guarding or keeping or protecting because it knows that we're ready now to step through we can look at that from a different perspective and call that an initiation where we're being kind of initiated or tested to make sure that we've learned the lessons that we've been learning lately so that we can step through to that next level or through to that next doorway or be initiated into that next level of mastery if you like or level of development or growth so this talks about an uplifting energy it talks about it being a time for celebration on Tuesday there feels to be a really strong energy that's coming through with this um, this sense of uplift this sense of connection a lot of us have been feeling I don't know if disconnect disconnected is necessarily the right word perhaps focused on other things that we've been so attentive to like letting our body heal or being busy tending to things that we may have um, had our attention just shifted into something else lately and I feel like our attention is going to be um, shifting back into a sense of connection again connecting with spirit if that's important to us connecting with those higher frequencies connecting with our body connecting with who we are connecting with our life's path because we've been so busy tending to our health or tending to the things that we've been busy processing or busy doing those things have kind of gone on the back burner and I feel this sense of a shifting focus now where we're shifting focus and having the time to focus again on connecting with our path as well as these other things to connect with but I feel our path especially to get back on track again to feel back in alignment with our path with this moment with who we are so chakras our energy system our being upgrading growing uplifting and this beautiful balance that's potentially coming in as well but it also being time for celebration celebrating this point that we've reached this milestone that we've um, accomplished or reached in our life and whatever that might personally mean for us 
So very favourable uplifting energy around for Tuesday. Um, celebratory energy, initiation energy as we move through that new doorway and into this new next phase of our journey. A new chapter is opening, but for many of us, a new whole book is starting. So there's something important about that for Tuesday. So quite strong energy coming through for Monday and Tuesday already. <coughs> Excuse me. I actually feel inspired to use the rattle before I pull the theme card. So let's do that. So I've just got this little rattle here. I'm just going to play it for a moment. My intention for playing this is to help shift some old energy that you may have been holding on to that may be blocking you in a sense right now or may be creating that tunnel vision, which is a bit of what I talked about yesterday when I think about it in that little sharing that I did in that video. Um, to expand our tunnel vision and look past that problem, that problem, that problem and look at it as a whole to find what the trigger or the issue is that's underneath. So my intention is to help you hold this space to let go. If there's something else that you feel that you need from the rattle time, then please um, trust what you feel is right. You can't do anything wrong, just take some deep breaths and think about if you want to let go, think about breathing out and letting go and really surrendering the stuff that's pent up inside you, surrendering that to the sound of the rattle as you breathe out and be willing to let go. You may also even want to use an affirmation like, I am willing to let go, I am willing to change, I am ready to change. I am ready for change. Whatever stands out for you, you may even want to use something else. You don't have to use those. So enjoy. Nice deep breath. Feel that old energy being shaken up and leaving you from top to bottom, from head to toe as you let it go. Let it go from your heart, your body, your mind. Let it go. Let it go so you can prepare yourself for what awaits. We, most of the time, or at this time, we don't know what awaits. It's a bit of a mystery, isn't it? Do we need to know what awaits? No. Let's just deal with what we feel right now and just let us flow forward, trusting in each step that we take. So thank you. I trust you enjoyed that little bit of rattle time. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> the coughs are hard to... Uh, no, I shouldn't say that. I'll say that in a different way. This cough time of uh, when you're shifting stuff in your body takes a little bit longer to shift out, doesn't it? It sort of lingers a little bit. Okay, now I'm looking for the best card for the theme for Monday and Tuesday. So this will help us draw these days together and help us see the bigger picture for Monday and Tuesday. Let's see what it is. Hi, Helen. Hi, Lindsay. Thank you for the bows and the butterflies, Karen. Hi, Lillian and Corey. That's great. I'm so pleased that's helped you. Wonderful. Okay. The theme card, I trust, is this. Spirit bird again. And this brings a light and a light-hearted feeling to the energy that's been shared. So it's card 37, Spirit Bird. It says heart, song, joy, excitement and motivation. This card came up for the weekend at some point. I completely forget whether it was the theme 
I really don't have any idea at this point. I forget completely, but it doesn't matter. I don't need to know because we're in this moment now. This brings an uplifted feeling to Monday and Tuesday. So let's be careful we don't make things more complicated, heavier, a bigger deal than what they need to be. Let's remember to stay light-hearted as best as we can. Let's whistle and sing and dance and move. And if you're lucky enough to play a musical instrument, let's play our beautiful songs from our, from our heart. Have you tried that before? And it's so empowering when we feel a beautiful sense of connection and love in our heart, or even if we feel wounded and pained in our heart, to find sounds that may be just tones or sounds that may be song or words or something, an affirmation that we sing from our heart. It is so healing and so empowering. Perhaps you'll be inspired over Monday and Tuesday, (coughs) excuse me, to connect in with your heart and express your heart song through song. Maybe through movement of your body might be something more in alignment with how you feel. Perhaps through something creative. But how can you express and connect in with your heart song, your heart power again? Joy, motivation and excitement. There is a new sense of motivation coming in, which is very welcomed for a lot of us. I feel we're being motivated to do things in a different way or do different things that we've been doing recently. And when I say recently, I mean this month. So the last 10 or 11 days when we started into June, I feel that we've been so focused on other things that Monday and Tuesday might see us being inspired to do some things that we've been wanting to do or meaning to do or just feel inspired to do in those moments. More creating, more celebrating, more things that bring us joy, perhaps more time in nature, maybe more time connecting with music, our body, with song or music in general. So trust what inspires you as you flow forward. But remember, treat things that happen that are a bit heavy, that affect you a bit heavy, heavily, (laughs) in a light-hearted way. I feel that's the big message here from Spirit Bird. Be light-hearted. See if you can connect in with what joy feels like in your heart. Not what joy, well, you know, sometimes it is what would joy feel like if I'm not feeling it now. Sometimes imagining what joy might feel like can be a stepping stone towards feeling joy. So how can you switch things around so you can travel, not travel, but connect in with that feeling of joy and what that means to you? So that's Spirit Bird, our theme for Monday and Tuesday. I trust it makes sense for you and thank you so much for connecting today. I've used my Speed of Light Oracle cards. I actually am going to play the singing bell to finish in just a minute. I'm inspired too if you want to hang around. Um, So yeah, I've used my Speed of Light Oracle cards. There's 55 cards in this deck. They've all been completely created by me. And if you want to learn more about them or work with them, please have a look on my website. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. And if you want to connect more privately, just send us a message through our website. It's important to me that you know that I'm here for you. I'm here for you at the capacity that you need well as best as I can be I mean I can't live your life for you but if you need to talk to someone if you need to reach out and if you feel inspired or connected to me and you you feel like you'd like to reach out to me please know that you're always welcome to email and comment if you're struggling if you want to connect more privately just drop us an email I am here this is part of my work is to be of support and I'm very lucky enough and um, grateful to have a lot of support from people like you through my Patreon, through Pillar of Light family, through just supporting through my website. That helps me be able to do this work full time. And that means not only creating, it means being here for you, being here for people if, if they need it. 
So please don't forget that I'm here. Just reach out if you need to. Um, uh, what do I need to talk about? The healing energy cards are on sale at the moment because it's their 10th birthday this month. So um, these are great tools to help support your healing journey if you're inspired or have been looking at them for a while. They are on sale right now for the month of June. So please have a look on my website. I've also released a few talismans that feature some of the illustrations from that deck if you're inspired to wear some one of those um, pieces then that's great um, and you're supporting my work of course which is I'm really grateful for um, we have our drumming circle tomorrow that's our final drumming circle for now <laughs> for good probably but at least for now um, that's happening tomorrow so you can register for that on our website if you want to and if you want to learn more about the work I do please visit my website at templeofbalance.com.au if you're in our Pillar of Light family, I am just about to, the second I finish this video, I'm going to be streaming in our Pillar of Light family and doing a bit of a tutorial on face painting. <laughs> so if you want to join me, if you're in our Pillar of Light family, keep an eye out for that in a few minutes. So thank you so much for connecting. Um, have a fantastic couple of days. I will definitely do my best to be back to share with you again on Wednesday if not sooner. So thank you. Thanks very much. I'm going to play the singing bell now to finish, to help hold us in a nice vibration, a nice clear space as we prepare to get on with our life and do whatever we're preparing to go and do in our life experience, holding what stood out for us during the sharing and what feels right, stuff that we want to bring forward in our days to come a feeling, um, an intention, an affirmation. That's what makes these sorts of videos mean something and count in your life. It's when you can transition into your life and bring what's nourished you into your life experience. That's what changes you. Not by just listening and then going back and screaming at the partner or screaming at the children. That's not carrying the energy over. So I'm going to play the singing bell to help you carry the energy over, that feeling of love, of peace, of connection, of whatever it is that stood out for you. So this is my Tibetan singing bell. I'm just going to play it, take some deep breaths and maybe reflect on what's been important for you in this sharing and how now you can adjust and adapt and bring that over into your life. And then I'm going to finish after this. So thanks for watching today. <coughs> Excuse me.